Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit embarrassing for me because I'm going to be going through my absolute disaster area of a craft closet with you guys. But before we did that, I wanted to just quick take a moment to talk about the sweater that I'm wearing. That is something that I'm starting to do on this channel where I wear my hand knit sweaters and then talk to you a little bit about them just so we can have a little bit more sweater inspiration because I love my sweaters. So this is a newer finished object. It is the Weekender Light by Andrea Mowry and it's made out of a Cascade Heritage yarn in the colorway golden yellow and this is an amazing sweater. I really like it. So it's got some stockinette sleeves but the majority of the body is worked in reverse stockinette so all you can see are purl stitches on the front but it's worked inside out so you don't have to do all of the purl stitches which is awesome and then it does have a faux seam on the front center and the center back as well and then it has this ribbing along the shoulder area which is really awesome. I love this neck so much. It's got a a boat neck and it has a tubular cast off edge here that I love. I was doing the tubular cast off wrong for so long until this sweater and then I finally figured it out. So yeah, really, really like this sweater. But yeah, let's talk about my craft closet. So my craft closet is an absolute disaster area. I tried cleaning it the other day and it's just still an absolute mess. And I also had to take a couple of bins that were holding my yarn out of there and put them in my kids' room so that they could organize their toys better. I haven't gotten bins for the craft closet yet, so my yarn is just kind of shoved in there. It looks really bad. I apologize in advance, but hopefully this video will serve as a motivation for me to get it all looking nice and organized and clean so that I'm not avoiding going in there and trying to find anything. So yeah, just be forewarned. <laughs> and then I also wanted to mention that because I don't go in there a lot, I do keep my working yarn fairly small. So I do have a little be bag here that my mom gave me a little while back. And this has been amazing. It's got pockets all over it. And I've got my little knit crate magazine there. I've got some notions in the different pockets, knitting needles. I've got some crochet hooks in here because I'd like to start crocheting a little bit more. And then I've got my yarn and works in progress in here. So you can see I've got my Holly dress that I've been working on by Pernille Larson. I've got some Vitalana tiptoe sock from my knit crate that I need to work up. I've got this uh, Yarn B Authentic Plush, no, hand dyed tonal yarn in the colorway Plush Blush. These are going to be joggers for my daughter. Really excited about that. I've got some Cascade Yarns Bentley in here. This is going to be a sweater for my son. So, yeah. Anything that I've currently been working on is in here, which really helps me avoid that closet, but I would like to kind of have everything in one place. So let's stop stalling and go take a look at that mess. So here is my current craft closet. And right now we're actually standing where Charlie's bedroom is going to be. We are in the middle of a lot of home renovations and so this closet will be moving from this location but this will probably still remain my craft closet so i do need to really go through and figure out how to organize this better because it is by no means clean in here so i tried to do a little bit of it but didn't get very far so just opening this up here you can kind of get an idea of what I have in here. And like I said, this is going to be the before and this isn't everything either. So my main knitting stuff, like what I'm working on at the moment is actually downstairs in a separate bag, but yeah, it will hopefully end up in here once I get all of the organizing done. So on the first shelf here, I have all of my books. So. There's a sweater wheel over here, and then I've got some music, weirdly enough. I uh, play flute and piano, and so my music is up there. I'm not really sure why, 
that should probably move. Um, and then I have some Willow and Sage magazines here, some knitting magazines. Uh, most of them, I think, are Vogue knitting. And then I've got some books. I've got animal hats. I've got Knitting Gifts for Baby by Mel Clark, Ohio Knitting Mills. Yeah, lots of different things. I've got some sewing patterns in this binder. I have a um, drop spindle here, a random snow globe that <laughs> belongs to my daughter. I have no idea why that's in there. Then I've got my sewing supplies and my sewing machine. This is a brother something. It has a an attachment so that I can do embroidery as well. I used to do a lot of it, but I haven't recently. And in here I have kind of a bunch of different sewing things. I've got some um, little eyes for toys. I've got a lot of straight pins in here, some extra sewing needles for my machine. I've got some really cool knitting needles over here. These ones are actually glass knitting needles. I have no idea how I ended up with these. My mother-in-law found them at a thrift store and gave them to me. I think they're so cool, but I'm so, so scared to use them. So I've just kind of tucked them here. I'm hoping to find a vase that I can stick kind of my cooler knitting needles in, but yeah, haven't gotten around to that. And then this, I don't know what to do with it. It's a little salt dough ornament from when my daughter Evelyn was a baby. And I just stuck it here because it's the safest place for right now. So yeah, that's my first shelf. And then down here, I have a bunch of embroidery thread. It's a mess. I need to figure out a better way of keeping all of the thread together. So if you have any thoughts on how to do that, I would love it. Then I have a random hammer. I have no idea why it's here. I have this little statue that my grandma made and then I have a bunch of just random things. There's a light bulb, there's a tassel maker back here. Um, I have some wood markers, some ornaments that should have been with our Christmas stuff. Once again, it's just kind of there so that the kids can't get into it. Oh, and these, these need to be in my little keepsake box. These are Evelyn's hospital bracelets from when she was born. Okay, so now we are going to get into the really messy stuff and this is where most of the organization will need to take place and I would like to just remind you that this is not what I use a lot. So things have just kind of gotten shoved in here and I really need to get it fixed. So, oh, I'm kind of embarrassed to show you this. So, <laughs> I have this massive mess of things. I have a vinyl cutter here and then some, um, oh, what is this called? Interfacing on a roll back here. Fabric just shoved in there. I've got some purses that I'm not using right now. Some pens. A picture of Joe and I. I don't know. It's, it's such a mess. Oh, I have some glow sticks in here too. I should really take those out because 4th of July is coming up. So I would think that the kids would really like that. And then the worst part of this closet is down here. So I had all of my yarn in a couple of bins, but then I needed them for the kids room so that they could organize their toys. And I just shoved all of the yarn in there. I honestly have no idea what is in there right now. This is not the yarn that I'm currently using, but I need, need to get this all organized. I mean, some of this is already caked up. Some of it is actual projects that are just on permanent hold. And then I've got some just skeins of yarn. I've got this massive tangle of things. And then you can see I've got a little bit of roving down here. And this is such an embarrassing little yarn storage area. So this is going to need to get some major love and hopefully in the next month or so I can refilm this and it will all be nice and clean. And that's going to be my intention and why I decided to film this video in the first place. This will be some major inspiration to clean this closet. So hopefully in a bit you'll see an updated, nicely organized 
little yarn collection, but this is what I've got for right now. So I hope you're not judging me too harshly on my mess of a craft closet. Like I said, I am working to make that all nice and neat and clean, but I'm just not quite there yet. And it's going to be a lot of work, but hopefully in a month or two, I will come back with an updated, nicely organized yarn closet that I can share with you. And I do have some ideas on how to store things. So hopefully I'll be able to share that with you in an upcoming video as well. But as for right now, I should probably go ahead and work on that a little bit more because as you've seen, it needs a lot of TLC. And my uh, little boy is napping right now and this is pretty much the only time that I can get anything done. So I should probably take advantage of that. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video even though it didn't really give you any answers at least maybe if you have a messy craft closet too you you know that you're not alone so anyway um i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i will see you in my next video bye